Hi Leo, this is going to be your weekly love reading. All right, this is a situation, some of you guys, you were married to this person. This person could have been married, okay? Someone could have lied to you and told you they were single when they were married, okay? Or this is a third party situation where somebody was committed to something somewhere else. D definitely some sort of other man or other woman energy here, okay? Third party. Now, <clears throat> here's the good news with this situation. It looks like you've healed from it and you've moved on which is good you're like no more i'm done with this i'm freeing myself from this devil energy okay so some of you all might have been dealing with a capricorn you don't have to be you're just making better choices for yourself and you know healing heart is here upright okay this the snake came out you're healing from this snake energy somebody who was deceptive they had you in some seven of swords energy and i really fit with the wedding clarifying the snake energy came out wedding ring okay so you could be dealing with this person or some of y'all, if that's not the case and somebody wasn't committed or someone was not, you know, in a long-term relationship or married to someone or you weren't married to this person, this just means there was some form of soul connection, okay? But the good news is, again, heartbreak, more clarity. So I feel like you're coming into clarity because heartbreak is in reverse here. So you're not heartbroken about the situation. You're not heartbroken that you're not talking to this person anymore. You don't feel lost about the situation. You're, you've already grieved and mourned the connection and you've gotten over it. Some of y'all never grieved the situation and gotten over it, okay? So we're going to see what this is about. A little bit of karmic energy here, but the good news is you healed, all right? You're done with this. So show me more energy here for this connection and why we're talking about this. Why are we talking about this spirit if, if the collective is no longer talking to this person? Oh, uh, yeah, you were definitely dealing with somebody. Yeah, so see, here's the deal. You're not heartbroken and upset about the situation, but somebody in this connection is, okay? Whether you're talking to them or not, bottom of the deck is broken energy. Somebody feels shattered. You know, they, there's, I'm going to just tell you what it is, okay? Somebody here has a family somewhere else. They're in a situation with somebody else that they have children with or that they're married to or that they've been with they like this person has history with this other person and they may even have a child with them right um they've got some form of financial responsibilities and that's why they're stuck here they this is crazy you know here's the deal for some of you all this is a situation where this is your this was your person you were married to them you have kids with them and they put you in a third party situation it took a while for you to heal from this whole situation you were very shattered you were heartbroken and you know what you're you're free from that situation you've learned this person was not never going to change and you just released it and you're not sad about it anymore you've already done your mourning right you uh but the, the reason we're talking about this it's because this person is realizing that they sabotage the connection between the two of you and they realize they are the blame for why you guys are not together anymore. Whether you were the one who were married to this person or they had somebody else that they were married to, right? And they, were, they had you with the snake energy. They just kept a lot of secrets. It's feeling like here. Somebody could have had an outside baby for some of y'all. Okay, that's not for everybody. But the thing is, is now this person's in all this five of cups energy in this regret and remorse over some shit that they can't take back. Okay. So some of y'all may have moved on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, you moved on and this person feels like they're running out of time. So they think it's this it's too late to take action because you've already healed and you've realized your worth and you've moved on from the situation. That's what's happening here. I'm telling you. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody here who may have a beard. Somebody could have a bald head here. Okay, that's not for everyone. There's also an energy here. Somebody like, you know wearing collar shirts or like wearing suits or something like somebody could be a business person so some of you maybe you're dealing with the king of pentacles is giving that king of pentacles energy with the family here with the business suit you know you know hmm.
You're definitely gone though. You've grown into the there's like a dragonfly energy which tells me collective like you've healed, you've moved on, you've ascended. You're somebody totally different. You know what I'm saying? So this person wants to talk to you. They want to tell the truth about something. They've got some secret that they want to reveal to you. It's almost like you and this person butted heads when it came to communication. I feel collective. You weren't on the same page. Like, you know, you, you and this person definitely just didn't get along well when it came to communicating very clearly with each other. Y'all just weren't. Because there's something about like someone feeling misunderstood or like not being understood, right? Somebody wants to tell you the real reason why they let you go. Okay. Commitment in reverse. This makes sense. Commitment just came out in reverse. For some of you, somebody here wants to come towards you and tell you they're getting a divorce. All right. Or for, like I said, for some of you all, it could be a situation where someone wants to come towards you and tell you why they like had to split or leave the situation. Hmm. This person feels unworthy of your love. Well, hmm. very interesting. This person's been in hermit mode for quite a bit, too. They could definitely be a Virgo or Earth sign. Show me here what, what does this person want to reveal to the collective? Ten of Pentacles. Either somebody here wants to reveal to you that they were married, okay, Ten of Pentacles, I'm just saying, or somebody here wants to say they want their family back, or they see you as the person that they can have a family with that they want to be with, okay? So show me more here. Why, why, what does this person want to reveal to the collective? Yeah, ten, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is here. Either somebody wants their family back here or I, I, I'm going to get another car, but or this person really feels like you are their Ten of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups and they want that back or they want that with you. Hmm. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Oh, what's that? Five of Wands. Clarify this Ten of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. There is definitely a, some fighting going on in a, in a, a over a situation, over an offer. Clarify this five of wands. Nine of somebody wants to be single. It's like there's a fight over someone wanting to be single because someone, because this, this nine of uh, pentacles came out crossing, which is clarifying the five of wands. So the fight in the conflict collective is that, Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is over a family situation. Again, I don't know who was married or what. Just apply this where this fits. Somebody does not want to be seen. Like somebody doesn't want to be single anymore or something. The conflict is over somebody. Be like someone wants to take an offer somewhere else. Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Ooh, that's what's coming out. That is what's getting ready to come out. Pisces energy, the high priestess. Hmm. Show me more about this high priestess, please. Yeah, there is a tower. Somebody over a third party, like I said. Like I said, like I said. It feels like to me somebody was giving it to people. Okay, this was a secret cancer energy here. It could be done with a water sign. There's a lot of emotion here. Okay, somebody's definitely like wanting to take a love offer somewhere else. And some some shit hit the fan. Okay, three of three of cups. I mean, you know, high priestess in reverse. Some somebody was keeping something hidden. Whatever was hidden has come to light, or will be coming to light, because clarifying the high priestess is the tower card, which is Scorpio energy. I'm just saying, like, that something shocking came out or is coming out and somebody here is, like, making a U-turn here, Six of Swords. They haven't moved on. Um, somebody may have thought they were going to overt a tower moment and something came out and they weren't prepared for it. Show me this High Priestess energy with the tower card, please, with the Six of Swords. 
somebody here is crazy. Like, somebody here is like... Yeah. Ooh. Someone here is not happy collective. I'm telling you, there's so many emotions in this situation. Somebody, like I said, feels trapped in a situation and they're heartbroken over the situation. They're not happy. They're not happy. Somebody's faking like they're happy here, but they're really, really not. Okay. I don't know who this psycho crazy ex person is. I mean, you could just be dealing with somebody here who's watching you or the third party could be watching you. Somebody here is definitely obsessed and like not able to let go and they want to come back and they want to return. Can you clarify the six of swords energy, please? Yeah, this person may have ghosted you. Like, if you're questioning why you haven't heard from this person, because I feel like some of y'all are about to find out why somebody left you hanging. You're about to find some find out some news this person's getting ready to tell you, confess to you, and let you know why they left you on red, why they haven't talked to you in a while, you know. Or, like, if you never got any closure from this situation, you're about to receive some shocking-ass news. I'm telling you. There's a situation here. Mm -hmm. There's a situation here. Somebody here is thinking about the past, but I feel like you just have moved on from the past. I feel like you're not interested. But let me see. I'm telling you, somebody definitely was playing mind games and was definitely cheated on in this situation. Or your person could have been backstabbed and cheated. I don't know. You, you know, because there is something going on here. Let's just keep going and see. Show me more here. Yeah, I feel like this is you. You're in this energy of like, I'm no longer heartbroken. I have pulled myself away from the situation to give myself, myself some time and space to heal and to be alone and to think. Yeah. Again, if this isn't you, this could be your person, but I strongly feel like this is you. You know what's so crazy, you guys? This person understands why you did what you had to do. Something has happened in this person's life where they are understanding what was so toxic about them or their situation, and they totally understand like, because you haven't been around, you haven't talked to them, this person is really feeling your absence in addition to whatever drama I feel like they might have be going on too because they've definitely got some drama going on, okay? But now it's like they didn't understand you then, but they understand you now because there's something else happening in their, in their own connection or in their own life, in their own world. And now they're starting to see things for what they are. Like this person, like I said, they feel trapped. And this person literally wants to run away from wherever they are. Look at this. Remember the trapped energy came out first. And then we have this escape energy, okay? I left when things got hard. So for some of you all, this person, um, I really strongly feel like if they ghosted you or whatever, they didn't fight for you, whatever it is, they made these decisions like they're regretting it for sure, right? Uh, for those of you who, um, you know, your person could be in a situation where they feel trapped in this, you know, because we do have some other drama going on somewhere else in this person's life involving somebody else that they feel like they can't get away from, which is all these responsibilities, maybe a marriage or, you know, responsibilities with a child's mother or a child's father or something here. But this person low-key wants to run the fuck away. You know, they... But, you know, I don't... It's unfortunate. Yeah, some of you guys definitely, you have a st strong soul contract with this person. This person has learned a very valuable lesson about... Things they just cannot do. I don't know. Like, they're seeing what they did wrong. That's for sure. This person is definitely struggling over a decision that they made or how they acted here. They know that their inability to make a decision or fight for the connection is is 
it hurts you or it did hurt you because I feel like you're not in this hurtful energy anymore. You're not waiting around to hear from this person. I feel like you're not, you're just not there anymore. You've healed from this, which is good. So show me more here. Either this person is like very quiet and there's no communication between the two of you guys. They're they're in the six of cups energy. They're thinking about you all the time. They're dreaming about you all the time. They may not say anything. They may not have reached out to you, but you're always on this person's mind. And they really do want you to know that. They they feel like you were the perfect one for them. Your your both of your energies matched each other. So some of you all may your maybe you were dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame here. Yeah. All right. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, this person is pretending that they're okay and they're not okay. They're tired. I'm telling you, they're missing your absence and they're tired of pretending. They're tired of pretending. This person is so focused on the fun that the two of you guys had, the memories that you made, okay? This person um, is just like misses the things that the two of you used to do together for fun, you know? Some of y'all could have played games with this person like board games or I don't know, video games or something. There was something the two of you did well together and you made a lot of memories doing that, okay? This person just sees the two of you as like this perfect power couple like this perfect pair because we have perfect pair here and then we have power couple so you know they feel like the two of you together were supposed to you know do big do big do big great things together i'll say that okay look at that power couple energy and perfect pair yeah oh okay show me more here for the collective person has like avoidant detachment style I definitely feel like this person pulled away from you like unexpectedly you didn't get any like advance notice or you, you just weren't expecting this person to do this to you or for, for those of you that did, you don't resonate with that then this person may have just pulled back their energy from you they definitely emotionally detached out of fear um you know they did they there's some untrustworthy energy here. It says, I made mistakes and lied in the past. Will you ever trust me again? Mm. So some of y'all, this person, like, you used to be looking over their shoulder. Like, someone here is trying to, is trying to put the wool over your person's eyes and not want them to see something that they're supposed to be seeing. This could have been a third party. I don't know, but I, I don't know how that might resonate for you. But it's almost like this person is now in the energy of wanting to show you and protect you and show up for you. And, you know, I don't know if they really know how they're going to do that, though. You know, it's almost like this person is like strategizing on like what they can do. They want to remember it's like this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles energy. This is this person like trying to put together an offer to put an offer together that you like can't refuse. Like do it real big, cars real big, everything big. <laughs> like, like they're planning their next move and they feel like if they come back towards you, it's got to be big. That's not for everybody, but... I'm just saying, this is how this person views you. They view you as somebody who's a wish, your perfect pair, power couple. Um, the person, This person is, though, daydreaming about you and they're daydreaming about sex. Okay, there's a lot of tension here when it comes to the physical. They're getting ready to communicate, though. So you guys expect some form of communication, whether that's a text message or a phone call or whatever, because like they do want to talk to you. All right, communication is here. So let's see what this person wants to communicate and how they feel. Definitely a runner chaser dynamic here, by the way. I didn't I didn't mention that, but I'm gonna show you this. So some of y'all could be dealing with a twin. Where's that chaser card? So you can see what I'm talking about. 
It's here somewhere. I thought I... Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. So I got cards. Just... Okay. Well, this is the energy. Chaser and escape. It's like somebody's running and somebody is like, you know, chasing. You know what I mean? So definitely a runner chaser dynamic here for sure. So what does this person want to say to the collective? All right. Well, first off, what they want to say is they love you. Okay. Which I definitely see here. It says, I love you. All right, I love you. I've been dreaming of you even when I'm wide awake. And that's that energy of daydreaming that we talked about too, right? I've had so many dreams about you and me. Again, another card of dreaming. Some of y'all, this person is dreaming about you sexually. You know what I'm saying? That banana. Y'all dealing with Captain Hook or something. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's what this card always reminds me of. Like, I'm just saying, don't it? Anyway, y'all don't pay me no mind. I'm a Scorpio. Um, it says, I find myself looking at old photos and text messages and remembering how happy we were. Yeah, this person is doing a lot of, like, thinking about the old times and taking a trip down memory lane when the two of you would have all this fun. But I do feel like they're also dreaming about you and thinking about you physically as well, too. It says, I'm slowly but surely opening up to you as time progresses. So this is someone here who showed up. They didn't really show their emotion. They tried to hide their emotion from you um, because they were involved with some other situation. You know, that's just what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't know what any other way to really put it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. It says, I've never felt this way before towards anyone else. You've ignited a passion and desire in me. Okay, so this person just doesn't desire anybody but you. Um, they don't desire anyone the way that they desire you because i low key still feel like they still have some toxic ways here i did they, they still got somebody else or something now again we saw them the energy of them wanting to run away right but and trying to free themselves i don't know how long this is gonna take or or what let's see if we can get a time frame or something all right is there can you give me some information on this person's um, next move, their next actions, their intentions towards my collective. Mm, mm -mm. The chariot is here in reverse and the eight of cups is here upright. And then the six of wands is here upright. And then the justice card is here. This looks like good news. Yeah, this is good news. I mean, it's almost like somebody after it's coming to a, a screeching halt, like whatever somebody was stuck, not moving, not taking any action. It's like they're walking away. Eight of Cups. Six of Wands. Let's clarify this um, chariot in reverse. Clarify this chariot in reverse. Why is it here? Yeah, they're putting it into something, okay? This third party may even, for some of y'all, try to block this person from leaving, stop this person from leaving. They may have already tried to stop this person from leaving, but they're not going to be successful because I still see this person walking away and walking right into a victory. So, like, give me one more on the chariot card. They're trying to stop a re re yeah, re reunion. Why is the chariot here in reverse? The devil. Capricorn energy. I'm telling you, this chariot in reverse is like... <sighs> Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody is trying to keep somebody stuck. Stuck, 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 stuck. Strength card, eight of swords, the hangman, and then five of pentacles. Clarify this devil energy. Who is this person? Who is this person? A Pisces for some of y'all? That, that hangman came right out. Show me more about this person. Who is this devil energy? 
Yeah, what I'm telling you, whatever it is, it don't matter. They're about to be like whatever this is. They could, they could be a Pisces. For some of y'all, this person could be a Capricorn or a Cancer or they could be an air sign. But the Seven of Swords in reverse is some shit is coming out. It's about to be revealed. Like somebody... The Wheel of Fortune. Car karma is coming through. There's about to be some changes whether somebody likes it or not. Somebody's not going to be happy with a decision and a choice that's made. They're just not. But they're making the choice. Page of Pentacles and the uh, Wheel of Fortune. What's the Seven of Swords in reverse? Clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. Because whatever this is, is coming out. It's going to be revealed. We already saw that. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Whatever came out, somebody did something and something came out. There was a heartbreaking ending. There was definitely a betrayal here because we already have the snake energy. All right, we do. Whatever came out is causing someone to walk away and say, I'm good. No, no, no. Because this Ten of Swords just flew on top of this Eight of Cups. Clarify this Eight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify this Eight of Cups. The Strength card. Somebody is finding the strength to walk away. From some somebody playing games. Or somebody's like trying to win at all costs here. Five of Swords. Yeah, they trying to win. It's a battle. <sighs> Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? This is the person that's stuck. Nine of Swords. Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse is like somebody's plan didn't work, basically. Somebody's plan did not work. Somebody tried to, Eight of Swords, keep somebody stuck here. Maybe even with a baby for some of y'all. I don't know. With this Ace of Wands coming out, this is all clarifying. And this Four of Swords came out crossing. For this queen of pentacles it's like this person tried to keep somebody stuck why is this four swords here crossing clarify the four swords please yeah thank you spirit knight of wands yeah look at this seven seven of so yeah who is this we got the knight of swords the Seven of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Wands, okay? I'm just showing y'all these cards on the bottom of the deck. Like, somebody may have gotten sick and caught something. Somebody may have gotten sick and caught something. With this Knight of Wands being here, clarifying this Four of Swords crossing, somebody could legit be sick. I don't know. Somebody could have given somebody an STD or what. Uh, mm, the Ace of Wands is already here. Hmm, Queen of Wands in the Sun card. Leo energy you could be dealing with a fire sign or a Leo here. Somebody could have I, I, either this situa ha situation has to do with a child or STD something they can't get rid of. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I do. I want to get more information on that. <sighs> Let's see. Show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, karmic lesson. Karmic lesson. Somebody in side hustle. Somebody's broke now. Somebody was a karmic lesson here. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. Yeah, funeral. I'm telling you somebody's sick. Ghosted. Ghosted and funeral. What is going on here? Ooh, ooh. Queen of Pentacles, rejection. So somebody's dead. Yeah, toxic lifestyle. 
left you hanging. For some of y'all, this person left you hanging. <laughs> There's that twin flame card. So your twin is like really like living a lie, I feel like here. Somebody here is phony or they're living in an illusion. So they're dealing with somebody who's shady. Somebody in this situation is shady as hell because sex and somebody has a sex addiction for sure. Ooh, somebody was sleeping with somebody at work. They were backstabbed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I don't, there's your clarification. I mean, y'all really could be dealing with anybody here, but hit the like button. I love y'all. I'm going to leave the reading there. Okay. Join